What is going on today, Instagram? It is another Tuesday, and I am back. Jared underscore D-Y-E-M, Jared Forrest Theory, coming to you from New Jersey. Um, getting ready for today's class. Give about one minute until uh, we get more people to join us. Uh, today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna spend a little bit more time strengthening the single leg RDL. We're gonna work on some liftoffs there. All right, then we're gonna work on some transverse plane with some tibial rotation. We'll do some, some helicopters as well. All right, one of my favorites, most challenging moves, I think, in the system uh, alone is that helicopter. So we'll give 15 more minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll begin. All right, again, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time today with the single leg RDLs. We'll go through a few different variations of it, but again, I'm gonna work on liftoffs and really strengthening that single leg hinge pattern. All right. Let's get started here, 1201. Let's go with the two stick uh, variation of our foot and ankle articulations. So let's get into our two long sticks here. Let's bring the feet, shoulder width, knees are bent, pelvis is tucked, that posterior tuck. Taking the sticks one inch in front of that toe line. We'll reach up on the stick, either rope grip or bar grip or rope grip. Okay, knees are bent, pelvis tucked. Give me a 40% tension pushing the sticks down to the floor. Posterior tuck, let's lift that right heel nice and high, and then down real slow. Again, trying to improve that big toe extension that connects right to the glute, and then drive the heel back down. When you bring the heel back down, I want you to think about squishing an empty soda can. So drive that heel back down actively, working on big toe extension, coming up plantar flexion, and now drive the heel back down to the floor Get to the ground, continue your push, working on dorsiflexion. Lifting up, keeping that brace core down slow. All right, so two more. Lift, tie as you can, tie big toe, down slow, keeping the arms straight. Remember, monkey hangs here. We're just deloading those feet a little bit. We have one stick, just do our single stick variations of the foot and ankle articulations. Let's hold that foot up here, and now let's shift toward that pinky toe, working frontal plane. Shift toward that big toe. Try to keep the five toes on the floor as you move from side to side. Use your sticks as your visual feedback as well. If we're shifting body weight to try to gain more false mobility on these ankle rocking side to sides, okay? So we're driving that forefoot into the ground, move toward that pinky toe, move toward that big toe. And again, you're using those sticks as your visual feedback to see if we're just getting that motion out of the ankle. So the only thing that should be moving here is that lower leg bone, and that's a result of the ankle shifting. Side to side, nice and slow. Keep posterior tuck, keeping the shoulders more stacked over those hips. Let's bring it back to 12 o'clock. Now it's slowly go toward three with the heel. Bring it down to six. Bring it up to nine. And then bring it back up to 12. So two more in the same direction. Go to three. Down to six, over to nine, up to 12. I'm still pulling down to the floor with these sticks, trying to create some tension through my torso. Should get a nice stretch too into my lats. So nice and slow, three, six, nine, 12. Let's go ahead and change directions. Let's go to nine, six, three, 12, keep the knees bent, posterior tuck. Stay in that horse stance. Try not to elevate in that posture, okay? We don't wanna stand up. We wanna stay in that horse stance, knees bent, pelvis tucked. We're pulling down with those sticks at 30 or 40% effort. Remember the hips gonna move a little more here because we're moving in the transverse plane. But again, you wanna get that motion out of the ankle, okay? Let's do one more circle, nine, six, three, 12. Lower that right heel, and now let's go to the left side, all right? Let's lift down slow. Again, plantar flexion, we're really working at big toe extension. Hold, pelvis stays tucked. Then we're going down with the heel, driving it down to the floor, squish the empty soda can, working that dorsiflexion. Okay, lift, down slow. Lift, down slow. 
Lift, we're using those sticks, pulling down to the floor. Down nice and slow. Two more, lift, down slow. We'll get into some spiral line work at the end of today's session. So more in that fascial stretching. We'll go into the spiral line a little bit too. So let's bring it up. Last time here, hold, and now shift toward the pinky toe. Again, we don't want those sticks to move to your left here. Shift toward the big toe. We don't want those sticks to move to the right. We want to keep those sticks nice and tall and just access that frontal plane from the ankle. So keeping those five toes again on the floor the entire time. Shift toward pinky toe. Shift toward the big toe. Shift toward the pinky toe. Shift toward the big toe. One more. Shift toward the pinky toe. And shift toward the big toe. Now let's go to three with the heel, down to six, up to nine, and then 12. Okay, two more. Three, six, nine, 12. One more, three. Push into foot, six, six, nine, 12. Change directions. Let's bring it to nine, down to six, three, 12. All right, here we go again. Nine, six, three, 12. And one more time. Nine, six, three, 12. Bring both heels down. Let's go both heels up again. Watch out for the elevation and posture. Okay, don't extend out of that posture. Both heels up and hold. Down slow. Both heels up and hold. Pelvis stays tucked, down slow. Two more, both heels up and hold. Down slow. One more, both heels up and hold. Shift both heels over to your left towards your nine. Shift both heels over to your three toward your right. One more time. Stay as high as you can, big toe extension, plantar flexion here with the ankle. And now shift toward your nine, go to the left. And then toward your three, go to the right. From there, bring it down to six, up to nine, up to 12. And now change direction over to nine, down to six, over to three, up to 12. Bring both heels down to the floor. Let's get into a horse stance. Let's work on multiple or directional force. So get into that horse stance. Let's bring left hand at 12 o'clock and the right hand at three o'clock. Working pelvic tilts. So anterior tilt, inhale, posterior tuck, exhale. All right, now we're just changing the directions in which we apply force. That's it, pushing down with the right, push down with the left, Anterior tilt, posterior tuck. Keep both shoulder blades rotated down and back. Anterior tilt, posterior tuck. Anterior tilt, posterior tuck. One more time. Anterior tilt, posterior tuck. Let's switch sides now. Right hand 12 o'clock, left hand at nine o'clock. We should have the stick at even to your midfoot at nine o'clock. Okay, anterior tilt, posterior tuck, anterior tilt, posterior tuck, anterior tilt, posterior tuck. So two more here, anterior tilt, posterior tuck. Last one, anterior tilt, and then posterior tuck. Now let's hold the tuck position here. I wanna get the hands at nine and three when we go into our frontal plane, all right? I want you to push down with the hands. Keep them at even to your shoulder height. Knees are bent, pelvis is tucked. We can go a little wider here. All right, so now I want you to push down both hands and really work on 
This stick here should also help keep the torso from rotating, or sorry, leaning from side to side. All right, so rotate shoulder blades down and back, back pockets, all right, grip. Let's go 50% push down. Push into your right foot, bump to the left. Push into the left foot, bump to the right. We'll call these Vitruvian bumps. Bump to the left. Keep the posterior tuck. Push into the floor, squeeze the butt to get into the opposite hip. Bump to the right. Our frontal plane with the hips, bump to the left. This should also help not cheat on that bump and get into that oblique a little bit with lateral flexion. We want to stay tall. Bump to the right. Pushing down both hands here, stay even to the shoulders. Bump to the left. Then as we say, these were the, uh, the Star Wars, where Han Solo is trying to hold the walls back. Okay, and now again, bump to the right. Stay tall though, through the torso. Bump to the left. Great, now let's go into that transverse plane here. Let's work from the Vitruvian Man setup. Let's go 12 o'clock, three, six, nine, back to 12, one more time, three, six, nine, and now switch. Go to nine, six, three, 12, and one more time, working that transverse plane through the hips, each time zone, going 12, nine, six, and then three. All right, let's bring it back down now. Let's go with the one stick here. Let's go with the arms extended, all right, working our kayaks. So nice and slow, pushing in with both hands, working on compression, retraction, and now keeping the stick against the chest here. Nice big figure eights. We're going downstream right here. Keep the eyes forward. Pelvis stays tucked, ribs and hips connected. So nice and slow movements. Remember, slow is how we learn those motor patterns. Fast is how we compensate. So keep it slow. Keep the elbows extended here. This is why the stick, we're using that long stick variation. This helps give that feedback to keep the elbows in extension as we go into the kayaks. Now change directions. I want you working on retraction also, or thoracic extension, keeping the stick in contact to the chest. And from the side, you can see the stick is never losing my chest. I always have that connection with the stick and the chest. Let's go into our dislocates now, a little wider than the shoulder width. Make sure all 10 fingers are gripping, elbow stays straight, pelvis stays tucked, the head is retracted back, ears and shoulders are in line. Let's give me a 50% pull apart, and then as far as we can. Keep pulling apart, and once you see it, push the hands together, decelerate the stick. Five reps, nice and slow. Pull apart and keep all 10 fingers in contact, especially that pinky. That is a big one. Push in when you see it. That pinky really wants to come off there on the end. Make sure that pinky stays on the stick. This way you can strengthen that posterior of your shoulder. Push in. Two more for me. After each rip, I'm slowly bringing those hands closer together. Push in once I see it. Pull apart, elbow stay straight. If you can get back at a decent range of motion, but once you come forward again, the elbows begin to bend, you have the strength to get into it, but not to get out of it. So we don't want you to go as far on the next couple reps, okay? Now let's go into the C-spine. Let's go with the arms at 90 degrees, okay? Arms at 90 degrees. Pull apart the hands, retract the head, and now rotate to your right. Rotate to your left, but keep retracting the head into the stick. We don't want to push forward into the head. Push the hands together, rotate to your right. Rotate 
to your left. Come back to the clock. Great, let's grab the second stick, long stick, and go in taps. Feet together, sticks are at 11 and one, hands are even to our shoulders. Stay nice and tall, just work on splitting the hips first. Give me 40% effort, lift the leg 90 degrees. Keep the ankle in dorsiflexion. Shoulders are down, working on breathing. Build a 60% effort, so gripping the sticks a little bit harder, pushing down a little bit harder, lift that knee about two inches for me, hold. Keep good extension on that base leg. Try not to collapse or lean back. Squeeze that left glute. Now build 80%, increase that grip, push down. Give me about one to two more inches and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off, bring the leg back down. Work on left hip now, flexion, right hip extension. Remember, going single leg RDLs today, so we really want to recruit as much motor unit out of that extension as we can. So we're going to really try and strengthen that before we get into it. Again, posterior tuck, ribs and hips connected, create that tension through that midsection to increase that proximal stability. Grip, 40%, lift the knee 90 degrees. So the hips at 90 degrees of flexion here. Again, I have good extension out of my right hip. All right, I'm driving through that base leg. Build the 60%. Give me two more inches. Try to keep the ankle underneath that knee. Try not to let it extend out in front of you. Okay, right now we're just trying to strengthen that hip flexion extension. Give me 80%. Give me one to two more inches. Keep base leg and extension. Hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off. Now that we've strengthened and primed that hip flexion extension, now let's get into our stick taps. Okay, let's go with a uh, six second hold and let's keep them at 60%. Or right, six second hold. At 60%, remember we want six to 10 seconds of isometric contractions. All right, 11 and one with the sticks. The farther they are, the more we'll have to rotate. We don't want that leaky ass syndrome. Feet together, lift just to the top of the grip, external rotation, instep, and now push. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in center, internal. And now push out for six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off, lift, bring it to 90 degrees. External rotation push for six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in center, slowly so we don't leak. And now push out, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now one more, bring it to your end range. Make sure the knees in center, rotate and now push. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in center, focus in and now push. Six, five, four, three, two, one, ease off, lower the leg. Let's check it out a little bit. Left leg now, stays in center, rotate, top of the grip, push. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in center, internal, meet the stick, Keep pelvis at 12 o'clock, push out for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Ease off. Give me one to two inches, should be at about 90 degrees. Rotate and push for six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in center, internal. Stay nice and tall on that base leg, good extension. Six, Five, 
four, three, two, one. Ease off, one to two inches, end range now. Rotate and push. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in center, internal, push out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off. Let's bring it to the floor. Like I said, well, we're working on single leg RDLs today. So I want to open up that extension of the hip. So let's go into our couch stretch first. One stick, placing it right at the ball of the front foot. Let's go right foot down first, right leg down first, and left leg forward. Right leg down, left leg forward. And just for the sake of the class, let's keep that foot on the ground, okay? If you have something that you can use to elevate your foot and you know you're good at the couch stretch, then you can go ahead and elevate your foot. But again, we'll start, just for the sake of this class, being on the ground with that back foot. We're gonna go both hands to the stick, about sternum height, shoulders rotate down and back. We're looking for that posterior tuck in the pelvis, squeezing that glute. Let's go foot flat here because I wanna access more of that superficial front line, okay? So let's push into the floor, give me 40% first, activate that tissue. All right, stay nice and tall, posterior tuck. All right, so a light push down into the floor, 40%, not too much. Let's build it to 60. So give me 20% more effort in 5% increments. So 45, 50, 55, now we're at 60. Don't jump from 40 to 60, right? Be under control. Remember, should never get injured doing isometrics, right? Self-regulating and self-limiting, okay? And now give me 80%, so 65, 70, 75, 80. If we're at 80 and we're showing a lot of shaking, I want you to down-regulate it back to about 60 or 70 to a point where you're not shaking, okay? Now without changing your posture, go ahead and lift that back foot for me as high as you can. Squeeze that butt and now let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it down real slow, let's switch. So not only are we getting that hip extension, that hip flexor stretch, but we're also getting some active work for the hamstring. So now let's go left leg forward and the right, le the, uh, right leg is forward, left leg is down, even to the ball of the foot. And again, both hands, but now let's change hands. Again, you always have the dominant hand on top if you don't change it, okay? Just a habit thing, right? So now, we, are, we have our hand position, shoulders down and back, the foot is in line with the knee, no tripoding, no external rotation, okay? Keep the foot and knee in line. Posterior tuck, give me 40% first activating the tissue, right? I'm not trying to overwork it yet, just trying to activate it. 40%, posterior tuck, stay tall, hold. Control the breathing. Build the 60. So again, build 20% in 5% increments. So 45, 50, 55, now we're at 60. Controlling that breathing the entire time, diaphragmatic, try and think about breathing in and out through the nostrils only and from the belly button, okay? 80% build, 65, 70, 75, and now we're at 80. Again, if we're at 80 and we're shaking, bring it down a little bit, back to 60 or 70, okay? And now again, lift that heel as high as you can without changing your posture, no extension, lumbar spine, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Easy, bring it down, back to the floor. Let's bring it to the feet. Two six. Single leg RDL, now we're gonna work on strengthening, okay? We just primed and opened up that hip flexor a little bit, so we should have some pretty good extension out of that hip now, okay? So now feet together, sticks are at 11 and one. The arms, we're going to extend them. So let's get them a little bit lower than shoulder height. You want 90 degrees, maybe two inches above, okay? And now, pushing down onto the floor, let's start at 60% effort, all right? So we're at the top of that 
activation range and just in the beginning of that strengthening range, right? So now let's lift that right hip up, right leg up into flexion. And I want to hinge. So I want you to push forward with the arms, reach back with the heels. And I want you to hold it here. Let's hold 10, 9, 8. You're still pushing down with both arms. 5, reaching back in that heel, working dorsiflexion on the back ankle, toes to the floor. And now slowly bring the hands back in and then split those hips again. All right, I'm bring my hands a little bit higher. I thought it was a little too low for me. And now let's go into that again. But now from 60, let's build it up to 70. So 10% more tension through the grip, push down and reach. Squeeze the glutes, reach, reach, reach with the heel and the hands. Create as much length as we can. And now hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. So now we're going to add in a little bit of internal rotation of that hip. So feet together, 6, 7, 11, and 1. And again, I'm going to go into my RDL. Let's go 80%. So now we hinge. On my right hip, I want you to rotate the hip and the leg in toward your base foot. It should feel more tension build in that left glute. So you're going to point the leg in toward your center line. Keep the extension. Hold for 5. Four, three, two, one, and then bring the hands back in. Change legs. So when we do that internal rotation, we're just taking the leg and rotating it in toward your center line, right? So it's 60% on the left side first. We split the hips. The sticks are one inch to two inches in front of the feet at 11 and one. We push down and now hinge, reach. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Split the hips, bring the left knee up, 90 degrees flexion, build the 70%, and again, foot back, hands forward. Try to create as much length as we can between the hands and that heel. Hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Split those hips. 80% on the last one. We're gonna add in that internal rotation of the left of the left femur. And again, we hinge, reach, reach, reach. Internally rotate left femur and hold for ten. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Split the hips. Now we're gonna add in to our lift off. So again, our key in lift offs is the intent in holding that position. So if we're in that single leg RDL and I say lift the right stick, if you know by lifting that stick, you're gonna compensate your posture, the intent is what I want. So just think pushing more into the other hand, and then you're trying to lift that stick. We're using just the shoulder. We shouldn't get into more extension, and we shouldn't get into any kind of rotation when we lift. When we lift the sticks, I want you to try and work on the grip strength also, and keep the angle of that stick, all right? So let's go with the right side first. I'm gonna lift the right leg. Hands just below shoulders. And now let's go at 80%. Push down, grip, stay tall, hinge, reach, hold. Hold that RDL, lift the right stick one inch off the ground. Keep the angle of the stick, keep the extension of the hip. Bring the right stick down, lift the left. Simply by lifting from the shoulder, keeping the arm straight. Left stick goes down, lift up with both. Keep that posture, hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Both sticks down, and they should be at the same exact spot as they were when you first started. All right, that's how much control I want you to have when you incorporate those liftoffs. Left leg lifting now. Left leg's gonna be up, I'll go this way, just so we can see it. And now we hinge 80%. 
We're still pushing down, gripping 80%. Now lift the right stick. Keep the extension of the back hip. Drop the right stick. Lift up with the left. We don't want too much weight shift either. Three, two, one. Left stick down. Keep the extension, don't let it drop, all right? Squeeze that glute, reach. Lift up at both and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Both six down. Again, you should be able to drop them in the exact same spot. So now for the helicopters, we worked on lifting the sticks. So now we'll have no problem keeping our posture as we work on rotation. The key thing here on the helicopters, working transverse plane, and I don't want you to over rotate on this movement, okay? Work with the angles and the ranges that you had balance in, okay? Right leg up first. The key thing here is you wanna keep that foot and the, and the shoulders in the same line. So when I rotate, my foot is still gonna be in line to my shoulders. My whole body is rotating on the axis that is my tibia, okay, and my femur. Getting that tibial rotation out of that knee joint, okay? It is a flexion extension joint, but again, it should have some capacity in rotation, all right? So we're gonna do that right now. Right leg's gonna be up. So we're facing 12 o'clock to start. Hinge, bring the sticks over to 12 and 10. Try to keep that foot grounded, okay? Hello. Keep the foot grounded, and now try and bring those sticks to 11 and nine. Try to keep that foot in line through the shoulders. The more you rotate, the harder it's gonna be. Make sure you have balance as you hold. Slowly bring those sticks back. Let's go to 10 and 12. But again, the foot and head are gonna be in line. Okay, and now bring it back to 11 and one. So now we're at 11 and one with the sticks, but we're facing 12 o'clock again. Now let's go to 12 and two. Now we're working more external rotation out of that base leg. Keep the extension, don't let it drop, hold. Now try and go to one and three. Now if you can't, just stay as far as that rotation as we can. Okay, bring it back to one, or sorry, 12 and two, and now 11 and one, and then bring that leg back up, reach up. So again, that is one of the more tougher sequences in that system, right? Working on the tibial rotation. Um, if you play a lot of golf, that's key. Um, let's go left leg now. For me, it's a little bit tougher side uh, for me personally. So left leg is going to be up. Hinge. We're starting with sticks 11 to 1. We're facing 12 o'clock. Walk those sticks over to 12 and 2. Again, I want that base foot to work on gripping the ground. And I want to keep my foot and head in line. Now try to bring it to 1 and 3. This is the tougher one. Right, don't let that hip drop. Keep that extension. Don't lose your posture. Don't lose your structure. Now walk it back, 12 and two. Come back to 11 and one. Let's go to now 12 and 10. Now you shouldn't see my foot in the back there because I am in that line. One more time. Nine and 11. Try and only work on that rotation from the knee and the ankle. Walk it back, 10 and 12, keep the extension. And then we're going to now 11 and one. And back up, okay? Let's take one stick, now bring it down to the floor. Let's go right leg down. So that is it for our single leg RDL work today, for our single leg RDL strengthening. 
Okay, now it's ready for our deep fascial stretching here, growing some spiral line from the monkey hang. Let's go ahead and bring the stick at the right hip. So right leg is down, left leg is forward, at the right hip. And now let's go with six inches off to the side, so the stick should now be angled on top of you. Remember, we always want the stick to be angled down to our natural arm drive, but we do have some exceptions, and this is one of them. Reach up as high as you can. Now, taking the left hand, guys, inside of that knee, I want you to push and create tension there. And I want you to open up that T-spine. Keep those hips facing 12 o'clock. Bring that right hand. So we're gonna open up the T-spine, pushing into that knee as you go. Rotate your thumb away from the face and push down. Good. Now bring it back to 12 o'clock. Keep the right leg down. Okay. Now bring the stick toward your left hip, six inches to the side. Reach up. Now bring the right hand outside of this left knee, push together, and now rotate back at the left. This is going to be a little more restricted right here. Ooh, should feel a nice big stretch through that QL and that mid back, working that thoracic mobility. Rotate your thumb away from the face, and now hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly bring it back to 12 o'clock. Change legs. Keep the stick on the left side. Reach. Now the hands inside of the knee. And now we're going to rotate toward the left again. Push the knee and the hand together. Rotate your thumb away. And now hold again. So you get a nice QL stretch on the left side. Hold for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it back to the front. And now we're going outside of right hip, six inches to the side, reaching up. Hand comes now on the outside of the knee, and now we push, and now we rotate. As far as you can into that rotation, now we hold. Rotate your thumb away, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Ease off. Since we're on the ground already, let's bring it to our butt. Let's go into our straddle stretch. Pretty easy transition right here. Let's get as wide as we can. Let's go with, again, staying that spiral line theme. Let's add in some rotation. Let's go right hand to the center, left hand over, push in. And now we'll sit up as tall as we can here. Drive those legs into the floor, pull the toes back. Sitting up as tall as you can into extension, hold for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease off, turn the stick. Let's go right hand, or sorry, left hand center, right hand over. Push the hands in together. We're still on recovery, so it's 30, uh, 30%. Not a lot of effort here. Drive the legs into the floor, sit up tall, and now we hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Turn the stick again. So one more time each side. We're going right hand, left hand over. Push in. Sit up, hold. Let's go 20 seconds now, 20. Remember, controlling that breathing the entire time. Pushing the hands together, just sitting into that straddle stretch nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Ease off, turn the stick. Left hand center, right hand crosses. And now sitting up. 
Each time you try and get a little wider with the straddle. Three, two, one. Ease out of the straddle. Bring the legs back in, bring it to the feet. Lateral, bow and arrow. We're gonna go bow and arrow and reverse bow and arrow. Feet, shoulder width, hip width. Keep the legs straight though. Keep the post receiver tucked with the pelvis. We're even to the midfoot. We're six inches off to the side. Remember, to make it uh, harder, you bring that base foot, or you bring the base of the stick toward your foot. That's your progression. Your regression is away from the feet. Okay, so six inches is your base. Bottom arm at 90 or on the logo. Top arm is thumb down, push the hip away, and now we extend. Now just go forward with the stick as you push down a little bit, but stay in the bow and arrow, and now bring it back as far as we can behind the head, almost like doing a dislocate. And now bring it back so your ears and biceps are in line, and now pull that bottom arm in. Top arm will reflexively push. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now extend the bottom arm again. Top arm now reflexively pulls, so the shoulder blades in the pack, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease out, change sides. Feet, hip width, leg straight, post your tuck, ribs and hips connected. Bottom arm at 90, we're on the logo, top arm thumb down, palm forward, hip away first, and now extend. Hang on here for a few seconds, and then let's bring the hands forward, and then bring the hands back as far as you can. Now bring the hands and the arms and biceps and ears in the line again. Now we pull that bottom arm in. Top arm, we flexibly push. So ears and biceps are in line. The head is relaxed in between those shoulders. Four, three, two, one. And then extend, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hand back in. Slowly stand up. Now let's go wrist wrench. All right, kind of end today's class. Wrist wrench, hold both palms up. All right, now what you're gonna do here is release the right hand and then bring it all the way across and catch it in the right hand. So one more time, palms are up. We keep it in the left hand, release the right hand, turn it all the way over and then catch it in the right hand. Left hand should be right next to your hip. You can feel this stretch. If you do feel a stretch, some people might not feel this, okay? You're gonna feel it right across that brachioradialis and onto that posterior arm line tissue, right on the top of the hand, okay? So one more time, release the right hand, all the way across, shoulder is back, and now we grip nice and strong with that left hand, all right? Even like a 40% grip here. And now I want you to think about pushing the hand toward the floor, okay? But not losing your posture. And now pull the right hand down very gently Okay, you'll feel more of that stretch on top of the arm. Now with the hands, I want you to pull apart. 10, nine, still 30%, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push those hands together. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ease off. I'm gonna try and pull down a little bit more. Hold that for 20. Breathe, hold, keeping the shoulder back. Don't let it round forward. Okay, keep the arm straight, no bent elbows. Keep all five fingers gripping and in contact with the stick at all times. Eight more seconds here, then we'll change sides. We'll come out of this stretch nice and slow. Three, two, one. Slowly bring the hand back up. And now release. Now we hold again, left hand now releases, right hand comes, or the stick comes around the right hand, catch it back in the left. All right, one more time. Hold left hand, release left hand, 
hold in the right, bring it all the way around. Shoulder, back, okay? Grip, and then with the bottom hand again, push toward the floor, hold with all five fingers, nice grip, 40%, pull down slowly till you feel that big stretch. And now we hold here, let's hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now pull apart with the hands, hold for 10. Keep the elbow straight too, no bending. Five, four, three, two, one. Now push the hands together. Still want to have the five fingers gripping the stick at all times. Keeping the arm straight. Four, three, two, one. Ease off, slowly pull down a little more without letting the arm lift or abduct to the side. All right, keep it right next to the hip as you pull down. Get to where you feel the stretch again, and now hold that for 20 seconds. Again, all five fingers, even that thumb, gripping tightly, okay? Hold, not much longer. After this, we are all finished for today's live. Thank you so much again for joining me. Okay, I'll see you again next Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube page. Go to stickmobility.com and check out all the great content there. All right, again, my name on uh, the IG is Jared underscore D-Y-E-M. Ease out of that, guys. Okay, I'll see you next Tuesday. Have a great week. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys soon.